I'm finally going to be able to make my portal. Uh, never mind about that. You're in the uh, agricultural prototyping room. I suppose a giant spider would be useful to dig weeds out of your garden if it had a brain. Or three? Bloody creepy, though. <laughs> What is that sound? Who cares? Kill it before it sees you. Oh my god, he's tearing one of the thing's heads off. It keeps repeating one word. Sorrow. That's the word it's saying. Hate to break it to you. Robots don't feel sorrow, mate. I think it's some kind of sad song. No, Rog, no! That doesn't make any sense! They are robots! Out of control! Homicidal robots! They're killing people! My God. They think and feel. And I've killed so many of them. But why? Why are they attacking the town? Roger, this is not you and your posh mates pontificating philosophy in a dining hall. It don't matter why. Did the one I killed in that other room that was patrolling, would it have attacked me if I hadn't attacked it? From this point on, I will not attack until they attack me. It may get me killed, but I will try. I want to see if there's hope for you robots yet. Okay, I can go that way into a creepy looking cave or that way. Oh. Okay, well, we got robots that way, so let me walk this way for a second. <laughs> oh, dear God! Was I just really low health? What was that? <laughs> Holy shit. Did you hear the sound it made? Ooh, what the hell? Why is the world shaking? Okay. We already know that these guys aren't going to be good to me, so... Listen to that sound! Ooh, part of him blew straight off the cliff. Look, you got the green ones here? They look like one kind, and then you got these gold ones. These gold ones must be the ones from the other realm. Whereas the green ones are the ones that were working along with Faraday. Interesting. Oh yeah, there's a note here. Uh, read. Alright. July 31st, 1961. With Watson's help, I have compiled a list of basic instructions the robots can follow. Also, I have engineered a small box that stimulates them to follow these instructions. I lured these three robots across a new portal, immobilized them, applied the box, and then reinitialized them. Now they are making some very important improvements to the caverns next uh, to my basement lab if they only didn't have such limited short-term memory. Clearly, I am going to need many more robots and much more space. Fortunately, the more robots I have, the more work they can do in the caverns. Or overrun you. Uh, it is quite satisfying to work without all of Wellington Wells asking me what I'm up to. More kidnapped robots? You know... Maybe it was a good thing Faraday was locked up. She, but the, you know, here's a weird kind of like kick in the teeth for me. She originally got locked up for refusing to make those masks that would basically go through the eye socket that would control people. But she was making a robot army down here. So it makes me think she's got to be a nice person because she wouldn't do that to people. But she was the one that invented all the zappers and all the things for all the bobbies originally so did she have a change of heart did she not know what she was doing and being used for her abilities which i think a lot of scientists are or has she finally gone mad and wants to rule the world oh, hi. oh shit <laughs> you're not james and roger did the executive committee send you no no i uh these chaps they're trying to open the bridge to st george what a coincidence I can't open my own door either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in? What did you do? I told the executive committee 
I wasn't going to make any more spankers, or gates, or clever locks, or pupas, or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. Then no, I don't work for them. Ah, and you're rather brilliant to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm, how? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says, open the cage? Uh, there is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right. Maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St. George. I can. But not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motiline. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. Alright, so she's gonna help us break her out, and she seems like a nice enough lady. Maybe you found yourself a possible friend, Mr. Uh, Alpha, and... Well, did you get what you needed? Brilliant. Thank you. I didn't dare ask those idiots out there. They'd only set themselves on fire again. Um... What do you need it for? I've been working on a wormhole device, you see. Well, don't you look puzzled. Spent science class mooning after a girl, did you? They said it was dangerous. Ha! <laughs> Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe for the most part. You have a device that makes, uh, a portal of some kind? Mm hmm the, uh, the going in the hole bit works. Theoretically, I can come out a second hole on the other side of the river. I just need a few particular mechanical pieces. That's how I'm getting out. How are you getting out? Oh, simple really. I just need to get to St George, get a letter of transit, go to the parade and cross the Britannia Bridge without being arrested or shot full of joy by a doctor. Excellent. Here, you'll need this device. I've marked the cars that have the parts I need. Well, off with you. Um... Thank you, but are you gonna go through a portal? Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Wait, where's she gonna go? Lady, don't do it. Don't do it, it'll fry you like a crispy fried. Oh, okay, I guess she's not gonna do it. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> Dr. Faraday? Oh, what the fuck? Did you get everything? Brilliant. You got a knack for these things. So rare these days. Everyone expects everything to just work by magic. That's perfect. I just need to make the final adjustments. Tell you what, come back tomorrow and I'll pop out of here through my wormhole and fix your precious bridge. Go away and come back tomorrow. What the fuck, did I just get punked? Tomorrow? I can't get any work done with you poking about like that. Could I have a little privacy? Fine. I'll be back for you, Doctor. <sighs> Just rest in my feet. Alright, I'm gonna have a nice nap. See you guys in a bit. Alright, well, she said go away and come back tomorrow. And there's nowhere here to actually sleep. So, yeah. Do I actually have to leave? I think I actually have to leave. What's this? Whoa! whoa. What the, the hell was that? I hope she's alright. Maybe I should go check. Oh. Couldn't be better, thanks. Roger, don't you- For fuck's sake, Roger, again? She told you to stay off the grounding pole. It's gonna be a month of feeding you soup again, isn't it? Why don't you ever listen? What in the world's going on? Hang on a minute. Doctor? Shit. 
Oh, for heaven's sake, she's gone! I can't believe she left without helping me. Ugh. Well, I can. I just feel like a complete idiot trusting her. I can't say I blame you, but... Hmm. Pick letter from Helen Faraday. Pick up read. Nine times out of ten, if I turn it off and... Turn it back on again, that does the trick. Oh, for heaven's sake. All this for that. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fucking fuck's sake. Huh. Dr. Helen Faraday, uh, Carmarthen House, Lud's home. Dear Helen, we at the executive committee do not understand why you are so obstinate about the prototype mask we requested. It's not like we're Harry. Haworth talking about reshaping people's heads so they feel better. We're not asking you to run the wires yourself. That is the job. Uh, that is the job of Dr. Ridgewell at the health. We're simply asking you to rig up a happy face mask with microfilament wires that can be run through the eye cavity into the optic nerve so a mild current can be applied to the pleasure center of the brain. What the fuck? No wonder she said no. And yes, we have discussed the various difficulties with Mr. Arkwright. We're not saying all the wrinkles have been ironed out. It's an experimental prototype. What the fuck? You've done such fine work with the bridges and spankers in spite of your objections that they would turn Wellington Wells into some sort of police state, which you can easily see they have not. No, it seems worse. <laughs> you really don't see why this is your hill to die on. Do please let us know when you're ready to see reason. Yours very truly, Beatrice Reed. Dr. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. Dr. Faraday? James said you're alive. I suppose three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. You're hiding in your own house. I don't like people. They want things. It disturbs my thought processes. That's a shame. I rather like people. I used to have the most beautiful collection of records. Help me tune everyone out. But all my records blew up with my house. Take detailed notes on Dr. Faraday's mood and behavior. Interesting. Flew into a fit of rage, grossing, pacing. It's like they're monitoring her and also testing on her. Is the music involved? Do you have my record? I have indeed. This is fantastic! I'm finally going to be able to make my portal. Uh, never mind about that. And my motor? Have you made that? And you have earned your boat motor. I won't ask you whose boat or where you're sailing it. I have an entirely different plan. Does it involve portals? Clever lass. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat. <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm not gonna shoot any more robots unless they attack me, but we'll see. There's one around the corner here, and it's golden. I want to see if my theory is correct about their... Hey, you can see me. Come and get me. Come on. Run through the laser. Come on. Run through the laser on the off chance it gets through. Oh, of course. It doesn't hurt them. Man, that should chop you in half. So the gold ones are not friendly, but the silver ones are, as the looks of it. Don't do it! Bye-bye! Hmm. 
Take him down. All right, so we got a path out here, which I doubt leads anywhere. Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, read. September 30th, 1961. I am teaching Watson English. It learns fast. I, if I recall, this was from a previous episode. That we, She has a Watson, but she also has that other robot named something 46? Or is that just what she names the robot? I can't remember. You're going to have to forgive me. My memory is not great right now. All right. I am teaching Watson English. It learns fast. However, it is surprisingly stubborn for a device that is supposed to be a mechanical servant. For example, it insists on using the word sorrow to describe its reaction to electrical current applied to its feedback node. Obviously, it is not feeling sorrow, but I have decided to permit the word's use as shorthand. So, you're ignoring their quote-unquote feelings because you think the robots aren't capable. But, you know, similar to the one Matrix phrase, it's like, what? how do you define real? I'll put, I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about, because it kind of holds true to the way I feel about this. This... This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. Clearly the node applies some form of negative feedback that encourages the robot to deviate from its normal programming. Perhaps pain would be a closer term, although that is too, uh, although that too is inaccurate. Does a lobster feel pain when you boil it? Actually made it illegal to do so that you had to like zap them with this little like almost like taser like device to kill them first because they deemed it a less, uh, well, I guess a more humane way of doing it. Um, not as such, or we wouldn't boil them. How, how would you know if it feels pain? Why don't we dip you in water? Fucking Faraday, man. She is either just strikingly, like, sociopathic, or she's just super naive. I, I, I can't tell. But certainly it feels something that would encourage it to leave the water if it could. Um, could it, though? I mean, it needs that water to breathe. So it leaves the water and it can't live. It'll suffocate. But if it stays in the water, it gets bullet alive. Lovely. Likewise, when Watson fails to respond, a little current applied to the node encourages it to leave its silent mode. Wow. October 30th, 1961. Should have thought of this before. I've made a handy robot English translator box using the voice box microphone and central processor of one of the smaller robots. I have discovered they respond to fairly broad commands, e.g. seize any robot near the portal and mobilize it and bring it here. Of course, since they can't think for themselves, they immediately cease working afterwards. So I have to occasionally run around giving them new orders. I swear this sounds like people, and how people do what they're told. <laughs> it really, it really does. Uh, Watson has lapsed into complete non-responsiveness in spite of repeated stimulation of its pain node. I'll dissect later to see if the node has burned out. For now I have far more interesting projects in the works. Faraday, why? So, there's at least one robot who can speak English. I'd love to meet him. If she didn't torture him to death. From the secret shadows of dawn There's a darkness to disguise The simple thought I recognize Can't you see their beauty? 